Hey guys, I thought I'd do a Pokabilities team. Basically, it was this, I guess it's seasonal thing, I'm not sure. But OM, I've never, the OM of the month, I've never actually noticed that before, but like, yeah, I was messing around with it before. And I made my own team. And I was going to just like talk through it first and then like actually use it in a few battles and I don't know. Um, sorry about the lack of videos by the way. I said yesterday on Twitter that I'd, or the day before yesterday on Twitter that I'd do a video on like battles and I never got round to it because college work, but I'm doing one now, so better late than never, I guess, but, um, yeah, just, you know, I'm not giving up on YouTube, and I still want to make videos because it's fun, so. So, my first Pokemon is Araquanid. It's always been one of my favorites, and I got a shiny Dupai to the other day, so that's always fun. Um, so liquidation's the main thing, it's boosted with water bubble. Oh, I should probably explain, Pokabilities is, it's the Pokemon, but instead of picking an ability, it's just all of them. So, Araquanid would benefit from water bubbles boosts and, like, fire attacks being weakened. And it would also be immune to water type attacks because it it's like all of the abilities rolled into one, so that's cool. But anyway, um, liquidation's the main damage. It's boosted by water bubble, so that's fun. And also life orb, so. Then we got leech life for recovery, and then crunch and poison jab for coverage. I'm not really sure what the average set for Araquanid is, because from what I've seen on Showdown, it isn't on there yet. But this is the set that I normally use, so yeah. And then I just kind of went with what Showdown said for the UV spread. So, full H, well, full attack. Um, mainly full HP and 8 special defense. So that's Araquanid. Then Arcanine. This is a set that I used last gen, but kind of a bit switched up. So it has Expert Belt because basically the only things that are different is Burn Up and Extreme Speed. I think last gen it was Flare Blitz and I think it might have been Outrage that he used, I can't remember. It was going to be Dragon Pulse. It was going to be like a mixed set, but then I changed my mind, I think. Can't fully remember, but, um... Intimidate, Flash Fire, and Justified. So, you can normally switch in on a Dark type or two. And most of the time, from what I've done, it takes a hit. And then you got boosted attack so you can extreme speed. The only thing is burn up's a special move, but like it's a really fun move because it's you lose your weaknesses as a fire type. And I think it turns you into a normal type. Or just a triple question mark type. So like you can burn up, then if they switch in a Pelipper, that's something I've noticed is pretty common. You can just switch out because Drizzle, and then you can come back in later and do it if they haven't Stealth Rocked or whatever. Um, so the idea is burn up is main stab, and then the rest is coverage. And then extreme speed is just if it's, say if something's weakened on stealth rock or whatever, then you can extreme speed and 
I think they call it revenge killing, I'm not fully sure, can't remember. So the third one is Sheen Attic, and I want... I was going with the whole water fire grass core like usual. And I was originally gonna use either Sil Valley or Sarina. But with Sil Valley it isn't it doesn't really benefit, it only has one ability. And I wanted to use a different grass type, so Sheenatic's actually been pretty fun. So Illuminates basically doesn't just doesn't do anything. But Effect Spore and Rain Dish. So if you pair Sheenotic with Pelipper, then you can get a decent recovery and Effect Spore. So if you get lucky, you can like poison or something with Hex. Leftovers because added recovery on Rain Dish. Then, from what I've seen, Giga Drain and Moonblast are pretty standard. Strength Sap's actually a really fun move to use, I think. And then Sludge Bomb for coverage. And then there's full HP, full special attack, and just partial special defense, I guess. Um, Pelipper's your fourth thing. Um, it, pardon me, it benefits from Keen Eye, Drizzle, and Brain Dish, but Keen Eye isn't really a, Keen Eye isn't really too useful, because, I mean, I guess the most you're going to see from Evasiveness is, like, Sand Veil Garchomp, maybe? I don't know, but, um, like I said, Drizzle to boost Scold and, like, make Hurricane more accurate. And also to, like, boost Heal and Fishinati. And then Rain Dish also, because why not? Soak, I decided to use for things like, say, Toxapex, where if it's spamming Poison Jab, then you can just soak it and it won't have stab anymore. You can't really do much against them anyway. But I figured then I can switch in Sheenotic and just dunk it with Giga Drain. Or something like that, I can't fully remember. And Rooster Recovery. And this is more of a defensive set, but like, you know. And we have. Marowak. Um, basically, just fully offensive Marowak. I gave up like half a recall moves because Rockhead. And this was actually suggested to me by someone like. I was trying to use the edgiest team possible. And one of them was Marowak because the whole backstory about oh, it's like a vengeful spirit garden or whatever. And, um, the three, the four I can remember were, I had Marowak, Weavile, Dark Soul Valley, and Necrozma. And there was Guzzlord, I think, I can't remember. But, um, some guy I was against, I mentioned to him, saying that I was using the edgiest team possible. But, well, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but whatever. Um... Curse buddy because but basically I don't know what I'm saying any focus. Um they suggested double edge because they they didn't know if it got double edge, but like they thought it could be a viable, so I decided to try it. So I have flare blitz and shadow bone for just regular stab. And then double edge for say Fire, not fire types, bone ring. Say for example, I don't know, fairies, I guess. Not fully sure, but whatever. Um, double edge for just strength. And then bone ring, basically, 
Marowak gets a bunch of ground type moves, but I don't think it. Oh, it does get Earthquake. Huh. Don't remember why I chose Bone Ranger, but whatever. It gets Curse Body, Lightning Rod, and Rocket, so. Same as Gengar's Gin, where if it gets hit, then there's a chance it'll have Disable effect on whatever hits it, so if you're gonna disable, say, I don't know, their strongest grass type, like if you switch in on a grass type, then, yeah. Lightning Rod's fairly obvious, it's like an immunity. Um, it doesn't really use the special attack, because it's quite obviously more of a physical Pokemon, but it gives it an immunity, so, you know, and then Rocket, like I said, stops recall. Now, if you're running a offensive Marowak set, use Fit Club, like, don't bother with Life Orb or whatever. Life Orb causes recall and it isn't as strong, I don't think. So yeah, Fit Club just doubles the attack without any recoil really. And if someone decides to trick something onto you, you're stuck with an item we can't use, so that's cool. Um, last one was Garbodor. I actually have really liked Garbodor for a while now. It runs the same... I normally run the same kind of set as I would with um, Gigalith. I couldn't remember its name then, but because like, I'm used to the nickname, but whatever. So the idea is you lead with Garbodor, you use Toxic Spikes and Spikes and just set up in general. Um, and you can use Z move explosion if you want, or just explosion in general. I don't think it gets the boost from explosion, but it's really weird. But like, um, you can essentially do it twice with the Z move, so. And then Gunk Shot is just if for some reason it gets switched out or whatever, I can Gunk Shot and then like do damage, I guess, without fainting. Garbodor gets stench, so fl flinching for, I don't know, explosion wouldn't really, I guess, gunk shot. Um, weak armor because, we weak armor isn't exactly helpful if you come across, say, Chinchino or two cannon with skill link, but, you know, Aftermath's the main, like, good point about Garbodor, so if it gets KO'd, it's like, it does damage, so that's fun. So, I'm gonna actually show the team in battle, that's a login, I'll find first battle and then I'll be back. Hey everyone, so, I'm back, I logged in. And yeah, so I'm going to lead with Garbodor, and we'll see how we do. So that's going to be Color Change Protein. So I'm going to Toxic Spikes first. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I'm going to Toxic Spikes again, that's probably going to kill. Oh, okay, maybe not. Um, hmm. So now I have two layers of Toxic Spikes up, so... Same effect as just using Toxic. They can't do anything because we don't have a grounded Poison type. So that's fun. So... Porygon 2 is quite defensive from memory. But I'm going to... 
Actually, you know what, Gunksha? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just gonna just gonna use explosion. The idea was gonna be to weaken him a bit, but like Gabador is gonna die anyway. So, oh, okay, it outsped. How fun. Um, guess I'll switch into Marowak. And flare bullets. Hate Porygon too. I mean, I like using it, but like, it's just really annoying to go against. With recovery and toxic and all of that. And it can freeze with dry attack, so. I mean, granted, Doduo and so valley enough and I've tried to act, but hmm. So it can't flinch if I lower its stats it gets boosted attack and it can't. Okay and so I'll just flare blitz. Chances are it has good oh okay I mean I was gonna say it probably has good stick item. But it's like Fit club, but far fetched. But whatever, guess I'm sweeping with Marowak, kind of. Oh! <laughs> okay. I mean, I didn't think it at Oko would come out up, but there we go. Um, if I flare blitz, I can burn around, so. Choice scarf. What's Choice Scarf do? Can't remember. I know it boosts one of the stats and likes you into it. Does it say? Oh, it's speed, okay. Crap. That... <laughs> That's okay, I guess. Chinchino, man. Chinchino's just another one of those Pokemon where it's okay. But it's like, it's really annoying to go against. I should have saved a good... Never mind, it's probably going to kill him. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, Arcanine's going to die this time. Oh no. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't. Whatever, um... I'm gonna close combat. Oh, okay. Huh, <laughs> actually, why? Okay. I mean, that's always fun. Hmm. So next game, I'm predicting either Hippaldon or Tuxpex Lee. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say it might also be Gastrodon, but like... Clearly not. Um... So the f issue with this is... Because he's kept Toxapex alive, he could just switch in and get rid of the Toxic Spikes. So I probably shouldn't have gone for both. Whatever, I should have exploded. Whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go Shinatic. I think Gastrodon gets Sludge Bomb, but like, Giga Drano. I probably could have used Strength Sap, but I don't know how much it would have done. I think it depends on the air attack stat. And I can't actually remember Gastrodon's stats at the moment, so like, we gotta probably suck a bit. <laughs> I need to start memorizing the stats. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy, Toxapex, my favorite Pokemon ever. <laughs> no, but, um, Marini actually 
reminds me of Mistrevis. I don't know why. It just... I think they have really similar designs. It's kind of hard to explain them. It's like they both have the awkward face. They both have the hair, kind of. Or the stuff that looks like hair, anyway. Scout's always fun. And I have pins and needles in my foot. Toxapex is a pain. Hmm. So, this is actually my first time... Well, not first time using this team, but like... This... Basically, I just changed everything around a bit before I started this. So, I don't know. I mean, I used to run wide lens on Pelipper for whatever reason. Because I thought that Hurricane was still not 100% in the rain. So, I don't know where I got that idea. But whatever. Um, there was nothing I can really do to this. So I'm just gonna switch into our Aquanid. I'm kind of surprised it has some toxic spiked. So it's probably gonna use Baneful Bunker. Hmm. But Water Bubble is a really good ability. Like, I mean, Liquidation is normally 85 base power, I think. But with Water Bubble, it's. Watch call it. 170, I think it said a minute ago. But Water Bubble is just really good generally. It's really cool. Uh, this is gonna be Facade Flame Orb Guts, I'm assuming. So, I'm just gonna Liquidation. It's gonna protect to get the Flame Orb. Oh, it already has the Flame Orb, but like, to activate the Flame Orb. Then. Same thing. Well. Oh wait, a Marowak. Forgot about that. I'm not used to using a Marowak. Just gonna probably switch into Gastrodon. But yeah, I don't really, I mean, as cool as I think a lot of Marowak is, I don't really get the fact to it, it has a skeleton on its back. Like, you can see it's, I think it's called a pet, oh, player off, okay. I didn't actually knew, know a Syringa player off, but that's kind of cool. Kind of cool to keep in mind, if ever I want to, if anyone will. If ever I want to run a good Sarsarangsa, I'm just gonna burn around because I'm assuming it thinks I'm. Oh. I was gonna say I'm assuming he thinks that I'm choiced, but like. So much for that idea, I guess. <laughs> um, see, this is why Curse Buddy is helpful. It just randomly gets. Like, it just randomly disables stuff. And it's really situational. But when it comes to the fact that you have Rockhead and Lightning Rod at the same time, you just aren't really any... Like, you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm using Cursed Buddy, so I can't use, say, Rocket if you wanted to use Flare Blitz because you have all of them at once. So, that's cool. From memory, you get Thick Club from Cubone in the wild. I think that's the only place you can go. I'll look it up now. I'll look it up quickly on my phone. Cubone? 
pretty sure that's where you get it, and it's like a 5% chance or something. Yeah, 5% chance. So I'm guessing if you just, um, watch caller. If you just SOS a bunch of Cubans and kill them off with Eve, then you should eventually get one. Or Trick. Trick also works. I tend to use FIFA. Oh, Z conversion. Oh boy, my just. <sighs> it's good to see stuff like Pori guns actually getting usage. Oh boy. <laughs> oh wait, it barely did any damage last time anyway. Okay. Didn't notice that. Should have scolded. Oh well. Poison she not took. Can do Moonblast because it's stronger. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> um. I mean, it isn't using its attack, bro. Whatever, I'll just use Giga Drain. I've lost at this point. GG. Boop. <laughs> this is a pretty fun team, but it gets bodied by, like, just really awkward things. Like, Toxapex has been pretty common so far. I'm guessing this is just a chlorophyll drought team. But yeah. I'm gonna go for Spikes, cause Victory Bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> there goes that idea. So Arcanine should be able to I mean, it has flash fire as well, though, I think. Pretty sure that's its over ability. Oh, Torkoal. <laughs> Torkoal is like one of those things. Like, you don't think it's very good until you come across one, and then you don't know what to do because. People tend to think it's fire rock type, but it's just pure fire. And it's kind of... I shouldn't have close combat at all. Okay then. Hmm. So I guess it's half drought, half chlorophyll. Wait, no, only two of them can get drought. Okay. <laughs> I don't get why they keep switching. Guess that's why then. <laughs> hmm. I just realized Stealth Rocks were up. When did that happen? <laughs> oh, Torko. That's kind of awkward that I never knew that. Oh, well, that's the Executor down. I guess you could say I made an Executor decision. That was a bad one. This is what I'm talking about, though. Curse body is surprisingly helpful. Wait, I shouldn't have done that air slash. Oh well, liquidation, I guess. That worked surprisingly well. Hmm. <laughs> 
gonna switch into Palafa. I mean, I'll get hit with rocks, but Trezor will. So I'm just gonna spam Hurricane. Oh, wait, what? Huh. What does Solar? I mean, I remember what Solar Power does, but I can't. I mean, I realize it's lower in its HP in the sun, but I can't remember if it boosts the stats or defense, so I can't remember. And if it boosted a stat, wouldn't it have? Hmm. It was a bad move, switching into a Raquanid, but whatever. Probably last anyway. <laughs> well, rip and kick. GG. So I think that was two losses, one win. Might have been two wins, one loss. No, I've lost more than one. Whatever, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to upload as much as I can, but with college, that's a bit of an issue. But, eh, you know, I'm trying my best. This is just for fun, so. Anyway, um, if you have any ideas for a team, put it in the descri description in the comments. And, yeah. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, I guess. And see you next time.